My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. Hello, you are welcome to episode number 92 of the 120 Days to Learn Physics with Flash Isaac. In this episode and couple of the next few episodes, let's say up to about episode number 98, we shall be answering questions under two topics combined under magnetism and under force on a current carrying conductor and making use of the flash linear jam application the first question yes is a conductor of length one meter l is equal to one meter moves with a velocity of 50 meters per second velocity is 50 meters Per second at an angle of 30 degrees so theta equals 30 degrees to the direction of a uniform magnetic field and for this uniform magnetic field the flux density the flux density B magnetic flux is 1.5 Weber per meter what is the EMF induced in the conductor? When there is a relative motion between the conductor and the magnetic field, EMF is induced. It means EMF is produced. So this conductor, they are giving us the length of the conductor, the velocity, the angle, the magnetic uh, flux density of the field, and we are asked to look for the induced EMF. When it comes to something like this, questions, calculations under magnetism are usually very easy. For this camp, this scenario, induced EMF, the formula is very simple. E is equal to B L V sine theta. So you have your B to be 1.5, you have your length to be 1 meter. If it were in centimeter, you convert to meter. You have your velocity to be meter per, uh, per second you have your angle theta to be 30 degrees so once you multiply everything b times 1.5 times 1 times 50 times sine 30 degrees you are going to get 37.5 volts it is as simple as a b c sine 30 degrees is 0 0.5 that is 1 over 2 these are special angles so option c is the correct option. Why is the what is the most efficient way of demagnetizing a magnet? It is electrical method. This is the most efficient way of demagnetizing a magnet. No explanation needed. And the point which the resultant magnetic loss density is zero is called the neutral point. If you have a magnetic loss density to be zero. That point where it is zero is neutral point. Once again, neutral point is the point with zero resultant magnetic loss density. Neutral point is also the point with equal and opposite concentration of fields. The region with greater concentration of fields in the same direction is called the maximum density point. So while looking at this, um Iron and doing revision, the point at which the resultant magnetic loss density is zero is called the neutral point, and the most efficient way of demagnetizing a magnet is electrical method. Now, if a conductor of length one meter moves with a velocity of 50 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees to the direction of a uniform magnetic field of flux density. 1.5 Weber per meter square, the EMF induced is BLV sine theta. And substituting each of the values given, you've got 37.5 volts. That is all you should know in this episode. In the next episode, we go again. Take care of yourself.